you wouldn't do anything. Wow! <laughs> that's an utter lie! Did you that the the way his voice cracked Wow <laughs> <laughs> I was like Spike alright, I'm gonna screech at you. Oh my Freaking goodness. Brony. All right, the first loser semis. This is this is, like we were saying earlier. Uh, winners round three. It, it would have been pre-quarters. Goof and Nam played, okay. and Go it went to game three. Goof, uh, it was down to like 40 seconds on the clock, and Nam kind of like collapsed under the pressure of being timed out, Ooh. and he ended up kind of like throwing it away a little bit. So, let's see. Has Nam learned from? His mistake in winners, I guess, per se. We're about to find out. Cause or can Goof go home double eliminating Nam? That would be pretty good. Because Nam is. He's up there this season, isn't he? I can't remember. He's like number eight, I think. Who? Oh, Nam? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, he is eight. Because okay. Nero's seven. Number nine is. Oh, so. Yeah. All right, Goof and Nam. Losers quarterfinals. Game one. Sheik versus Sonic. This is going to be a very, all right, guys, you're in for a long, drawn-out set because yeah. that is what the Sheik vs. Sonic matchup is like. And that is the way that Goof plays, and Nam has to adapt to that in order to not fall into Goof's space. Yep. And I do, I like the pick of uh, FD for game one. Uh, Sonic, he doesn't get as much out of camping on Battlefield as he, as like he would on like FD or Town and City. Yeah, uh, Battlefield, like the actual stage is a little bit smaller. Yeah. The stage is a little smaller. Nam can set up a uh, shop in the middle and hit him with needles. But the uh, platforms, sure, they give uh, more avenues of escape for Goof. But Sheik, so good at trapping you on those platforms. Yeah, and if she gets a uh, air dodge landing, when you land on a platform, that is an up smash, and you would die at I'd say for Sonic, you'd die around 80, no rage, maybe 90. I would actually say it, it's got to be closer to the hundreds. Really? Yeah. OK. Battlefield, it's pretty damn tall. It is. Not gonna lie. All right, good up smash. He forced. He definitely hit like has previously conditioned Goof into those situations where uh, he goes for instant Woo! back airs. Vanish not gonna get the kill though. We got big blast Battle zones. Field. Anyway, like I was saying, Nam has uh, conditioned Goof throughout all their sets that into thinking that like the moment he gets a ledge trump, that bear is coming. But he yeah. goes for the up smash punish because he knows Goof's just gonna panic jump and try to get on those platforms to escape. Yeah, I mean, it depends a lot on one, the uh, character you're playing, and then the opponent, which option is the best for them when they uh, go for the trump. Ooh. Yep. So. Oh, nice forward tilt. Edge guard situation. Sonic not going to get it. Throws out the spring a little too early. Oh, but that back throw might seal the deal. No. Like battlefield, boys. We live in that nerf, boys. Welcome to being patched. Right. All right. And now what you see Goofs do sometimes, I think it's with the side B. He stops, like, the side B a little early. Uh, like the moment he hits the shield of Nam, and he does that to uh, create a lot of shield damage uh, that Spin Dash can cause. Ooh, that Nam. is a re grab. Yeah, Nam should have dipped a little lower, but he definitely was just trying to uh, use the oh, bouncing fish instant re nice. response from Nam, tying this back up. But he was going, I think he wanted to hit the explosion hitbox to, yeah. to get time the uh, invincibility frames starting at frame 13 on Sheik's uh, Vanish. Yeah, but the thing about that though, that he was competing it against Sonic's upbeat, which also has invincibility frames. No, it was the down smash. He got hit by down smash. No, I mean like uh, when he tried to get Goof before oh. he got killed. Like he tried to hit Goof, but Sonic's upbeat has a lot of invincibility frames right after it starts and right before it finishes. So hitting him out of it, unless you have a move like a Nair, well, Sheik does, but not didn't quite get his out there in time in order to stop Goofy from uh, getting to the platform. Yeah. All right. And, oh, and Nam, that was a really good attempt at the board smash. Uh, he knew Goof was going to air dodge, and he tried to get it because it's that up smash, or forward smash, always going to be fresh. Yeah. And it's it does a decent amount of knockback. Mm -hmm. It does some nice percentage, too. Since, uh, double, wow. Yeah, I believe double hit is about 22 to 25%. Oh, now I've got to watch out. He is really vanishing a lot when he's got the second re-grab. And that Sonic forward smash, it is uh, it's pretty good at hitting uh, people who re-grab. Oh, yeah. Sonic's down and go forward smash. Just really good. One is good at two framing. And two, oh, oh that smash goodness. Him. Can't stay right, you know too long. Nam knows he's got the percent lead. Chose to oh, chose to go and reset. Uh, that's gonna, he's got the vanish glitch. Yeah. 
All right, read the standard get up, down throw, another edge guard situation. 1% difference. Oh, that might that be it. it? Nope. Living two. Uh -oh. Vanish glitch. Yeah, like, that's the one thing Sonic really, like, he can, like, unless Sonic gets the stage bike with Spring, he's yeah. really not gonna be able to Gimp Sheet because of the extended Vanish. But yeah. Nom's gotta be careful. This, these throws happen. are getting into that scary percent range. And there's a minute 40 left on the clock. Timeout, not really a reasonable yeah, no, uh, gonna happen. Th like thought right now. Oh, they oh, try to goodness. test each other off there. Nom, you did it. Oh, that, that's, that's gonna be it. Gonna be it. He knew. Yeah. yeah. Instantly contested or conceded that game. He knew what happened, but you know, he had to. He was in a 50 50 situation of either, hey, I go to the ledge, I get down smashed. Hey, I trick him into preemptively down smashing, and then I can try to land with the, uh, at the, that specific height of vanish where it auto cancels automatically. Yeah. All right. And we're going to Dreamland, not Dreamland. <laughs> yeah. Um,. I don't know what I think about that. I guess maybe now I'm thinking I would have won that match if it wasn't Battlefield because he got some really nice reads that would have killed earlier on basically any other stage, but he yeah. just missed them. Well, you know, I think he was using Battlefield to try and, like, live himself. Okay. Like, yeah, sure, she kind of trades the, uh, hey, I can't kill, but it's more like, hey, now I can live. Yeah. Now, I like this choice of Lilac Cruise um, as a counter pick because Needles, you get to sit back. Uh, the platform's are all the same height, so it's pretty universal for that Sheik's, all of Sheik's tilts and Sheik's up smashes will hit on target when they need to. Yeah, and because the stage tilting, uh, Sheik can kind of like camp Needles and uh, effectively force Sonic out. I mean, with the percent lead that Goof has now, he can play it a little bit slower let uh, Nam get Needles if he wants, and then just because Needles only do about 8% even fully charged now, yeah, and they, the range is like half what it used to yeah. be. But right now, Nam down 100, like 7% to the 65. He's down about 40%, and Goof is just getting these grabs. He's relentlessly like putting Nam just like up in the air. He's forcing Nam to like land and try to approach. So Goof, definitely in the driver's seat. Nam, maybe playing the tad tilted. Yeah, in Smash 4, Almost every character, most of their aggro game is based off can't you get a grab to get a combo or put your opponent in a position where they're about to get hit by like 20 more percent just from getting that one grab. Yep, and they're, they're right there. You saw the uh, the side B pressure from Goof doing everything. Like what I was saying about how it does a lot of shield damage and it forces a defensive option out of Nam because he can't afford to take uh, too much shield damage. Yeah, and especially since he took all that shield damage. At the spring right after that, just uh, poked him, and there was nothing Nam could have done. Yep, nice bouncing fish into Nair. <gasps> Is he going to live? Yep, oh. not going to get Lila at it. Yeah, All that right. would have been very tragic for that to be the end of it. Yeah, that that would have been a very, very sad, sad ending to what could have been a great set, I guess. But right now, Nam's still in this. He's fighting, but he's got to find a way to see, like, get this kill. Because as, as it stands, it is just not looking too good. But he catches the nice. side B spring hop with an up air. 52%. Nom. He's got a full rack of needles on him. He just needs to find that grab string and start this combo. He needs to uh he needs to kind of take some of the wind out of the sails of uh Goof, because right now Goof, he is running away with this. Oh yeah, especially since Goof, he could play it a little slower and probably go for the timeout, but at the same time. Sonic can get in, he can get out. If Nam makes even a single mistake like that right there, he just missed a back air. Goof hit him with all of that. He went from 60 to 101. Yeah, things are not looking good right now for Nam. Oh! That's a, a little trick Sonic's do where they down tilt. And it's oh, just he, he was everything. going, he read that roll, but he read at least a chapter too early. That forward tilt almost oh sealing the deal. Goof back in another edge guard situation. Nam trying to find his way back on. Gets sent off one runs again. Nam, how are you going to get back into this? He's not. That's going to be the oh. end of it. Uh, and Goof. A, a very disappointing run for Nam, getting double eliminated by Goof. And Goof, with a 2-0 victory, secures his the first spot in top four losers. Good job to Goof.